What's up, everybody? Super J is back on the WrestleK, bringing you guys more awesome videos. The best action figure unboxings, action figure matches, and a whole lot of fun. As you guys know, The Fiend was actually uh, released today. Bray Wyatt, the uh, one and only creative mind, has been released by the WWE. And we're sure curious to see where he will be in the future, but we will be having some farewell matches for The Fiend coming up here in the next couple days. But I've got some brand new unboxings here today. From the SmackDown side of WWE, we've got some of the biggest stars on SmackDown today, and we're going to go ahead and unbox them. I mean, I've had all kinds of figures. I've been waiting for time to open them up, and finally I'm doing it. First, we're going to open up WWE Basic Series number 117. We've got the first time in the line, Tony Storm, who just debuted on SmackDown a week ago, and I don't know if you guys know, she actually is from uh, England, and she started out in NXT UK. And uh, was champion there. Here's Tony Storm and the other characters in the set. And then Tony Storm actually came to NXT during the pandemic. And they really didn't have anything going for her. I think they were just really waiting for her to go to the main roster. But she's got, you know, everything that it takes to be a women's star. She's got the look. Uh, she's definitely beautiful. She's got some pretty cool moves that you guys will see her do. And these women's action figures, whether they're elites or basic, they move all kinds of different ways, guys. They're pretty awesome. But I'm going to be having some action figure women's matches coming up here soon. But Tony Storm, they really did a great job on her. This is actually the, uh, I'm not sure if this is a chase, but she's decked out in red and black, as you can see here. She's uh, definitely got some junk in the trunk, so to speak. And uh, she will be a big popular uh, star in the WWE. So I'm definitely giving this figure two thumbs up. You guys can see the detail in the head scan, also the hair, and in the attire. I think they really did a great job of her. Really happy to pick it up. And we're going to keep on going down the line here to another basic figure. We've got Tegan Knox uh, from WWE Basic Series 115. Uh, Tegan Knox actually debuted a couple weeks ago on SmackDown along with Shotzi Blackheart, the green-haired chick. And they are a tag team now in the women's division on Friday nights on SmackDown. So let's check out. This is also a first time in the line, first time they've made her. And you guys can see in the back, they've got who else is in the series. My man, Humberto Carrillo. Big Braun Strowman, who's recently released. Just a lot of people left the WWE in recent memory and uh, not to their choosing. So let's go ahead and open up Keegan Knox. As you guys know, the WWE Women's Division on Raw and SmackDown is, is uh, fairly fluid. Uh, you know, from time to time, you, you know, Becky Lynch ended up having a child and left on uh, Raw. You had Bailey recently get injured, tear an ACL, and she's out for the next six to nine months. But Tegan Knox right here, she's definitely going to be a player in the SmackDown division. Uh, not as good as uh, Tony Storm, in my opinion, but she's a brunette, definitely has the look. Um, she's somewhat of a decent wrestler. Um, she's decked out in the green and black. And then she's got the, uh, knee braces, like old Stone Cold Steve Austin. These basic figures move all kinds of different ways, as I told you. But definitely want to just get those joints moving, so that way you can go ahead and do your action figure matches. But I'm going to keep on moving to the other side. Take on the old to the other side. Check it out, guys. I'm going to uh, to uh, unbox some of my boys right here. The Street Profits, they just want they want the smoke. That's the bottom line. And I don't know what smoke they're talking about, but we're going to keep our imagination to, uh, you know, figure that out. But check it out, guys. The uh, Street Profits obviously are one of the biggest tag teams in the WWE today. Definitely one of the most popular. This is Elite 81, Angelo Dawkins. The big man of the group. And all the way back in NXT, you could see that Angelo Dawkins, he had some promise, but definitely Montez Ford was the gem of the tag team. But Angelo Dawkins has been getting better in recent memory with the uh, spin around corner splash, amongst other things. This is actually Elite 81, and you can see who's in the series. And I do have the Bianca Belair available and Shinsuke Nakamura for unboxings as well. I've been trying to unbox them in groups as of lately instead of doing one by one. So that way we can just make a little bit longer videos. But let's go ahead and open up 
AD in the house. WWE's AD. Not to be mistaken with uh, the Lakers AD. But check it out. Angelo Dawkins right here. Pretty cool head scan they did on the guy. As you can see, they've got the uh, NBA uh, wrestling attire. Uh, they did a nice job on this tag team here. And as you can see, he's got the singlet going up that's painted onto the body. And then down below, he's got the red and the white shorts matching the red and white sneakers. And we'll go ahead and turn them around. And right now, Montez Ford is actually injured, and that's the reason that you haven't seen him and uh, Montez Ford as of late. But as you can see, we've got swappable hands for Angelo Dawkins. Pretty cool. I don't know. I got hands, guys. I got a whole pile of hands. You need hands, you let me know. Okay? I've got hundreds of hands nowadays. You know, you need you need a hand, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> but seriously, though, I don't understand with all these hands, man. I can't, I, I don't know what to do with them all. I'm getting them mixed and matched. I don't know where the hell they go. But uh, we're going to see if we can get that on track here in the future. But uh, definitely putting the Street Profits together here. I'm trying to put that jacket on AD. Come on, get there, man. Get there, baby. Come on now. Help me, help a brother out. Help me out. I'm just, come on now. Man, I'm having a little bit of wardrobe malfunction here with Angelo Dawkins, but uh, I think we finally got him here. So check it out. He's got that little jacket that he wears out sometimes to the uh, matches, and it looks like you can actually, you know, zip that up there, Velcro it, put that headband on, and we got Angelo Dawkins in the house. AD. And we're going to go ahead and open up the other guy for the tag team. My favorite. Angelo, I mean, uh, Montez Ford. I don't know. Montez Ford, guys. Elite number 81. Montez Ford is actually married to the women's champion on SmackDown, Bianca Belair. And I don't know if you knew, but after WrestleMania, uh, when Bianca Belair main evented night two or night one of WrestleMania, Montez Ford came out after she won it and was doing the old Ultimate Warrior, running on the ropes, craziness. But uh, a real animated, uh, fun guy. Definitely one of the best athletes in the WWE today. I am glad that the Street Profits were not released as of late because you just know that these guys have what it takes to become that tag team that carries us on through the decade here in the 2020s. But uh, Montez Ford, first time in the line, elite side as well. You can check out all the elites have those brand new FX head scans and the certified authentic WWE merchandise. So we're going to open him up. Looks like he's got that solo cup in hand. And as you can see, guys, these are former tag team champions already. Early in 2020, before the pandemic, they ended up winning it, carrying it through the pandemic. They ended up switching brands over to SmackDown in the 2020 pandemic draft. And... The Street Profits actually came out decked out in blue, and they were pretty much, uh, they just traded the tag team titles with the New Day, and the Street Profits became the tag team champions on SmackDown. And oh yeah, they got some pretty cool gold glasses there for Montez as well. Let me see if I can put them on him. That's what I'm talking about. They did a great job on this figure, man. One of my favorite figures as of late. And we got the Solo Cup red right there with the Street Profit logo. We've got the jacket coming on my man, Angelo, or Montez Ford right here. And I'm going to put this on as well. So let's check it out, see if we can get him all decked out. You can check out he's in red, white, also with the gym shorts or with the gym shoes. He's got the tattoos going up and down the arms. Detailed. Not much color. But uh, he doesn't have any color tattoos. And we'll turn it around there. Angela, or Montez Ford, not the biggest guy, but definitely the most athletic and high flyer that we may have ever seen in the WWE. It seems like he's got hang time like Michael Jordan out there sometimes uh, in the ring. And uh, just, you know, he's got, he can fly. Man, he can fly. That's all I can say. And let's see if we can get this on here right. I hate when these, actually, these little... Best things come in there. But check it out. We've got Montez Ford right here. Decked out. Elite 81. <clears throat> Street Profits. I'm going to go ahead and put him on the side here with that sit with that solo cop. That sippy cop. On the side for my man, 
bunch of sword. I'm gonna put these hands in here. And look, the hands are the actual gray gloves right there, which is pretty cool. Like Michael Jackson, <laughs> those type of gloves. He's a he's an animated guy. And last on the list to open up is Elite 82, the Prince Finn Baller. And man, Finn Baylor, as you guys know, one of the biggest and best stars in the WWE. This guy doesn't play games. He was formerly uh, Finn Baylor, a baller club. And man, he came out with that demon gimmick a few times and became one of the biggest stars during the uh, latest era here in the WWE. He ended up getting hurt and going down to NXT um, about a year and a half ago. And since he came back to NXT, he was NXT champion several times. And he came back and he was a heel, a bad guy, as the Prince Baylor gimmick, which he was doing overseas in New Japan and in uh, the indie promotions. And you guys can go ahead and check out some of those videos on the net. And you'll see he was a great heel. Uh, actually, you know, original member of the Bullet Club right there. And... I don't know why they've got him pointing his fingers out, but uh, you've got the Finn Balor t-shirt where it's got the uh, Balor Club logo, and then it's X'd out, and he's now the prince, man. He's the bad guy, the heel, and it looks like on SmackDown now, when he came out, they're going to have him as a good guy, still keeping the Prince Balor gimmick, so it looks like he's going to be one of those Stone Cold Steve Austin types where he's a good guy slash bad guy all in one. And uh, everybody likes him. But check it out. He's got the black wrap going up and down the arm. He's got new tattoos on his hand here. And he's just gone through a lot the last couple of years. Finally making it to NXT. And I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. The guy gets more ripped up every year you see him. He's actually a vegetarian. Which is actually, uh, you know, something different. Not too many wrestlers or athletes do that today. But Finn Balor. Uh, definitely one of the best WWE has to offer. He's a former Universal Champion. He's going to be wrestling Baron Corbin in a feud fairly soon. And we've got more WWE unboxings and matches coming at you guys soon. Please check out AEW videos, unboxings, action figures, and more. They're going to be coming up fairly soon over the next couple days. I'm going to buy another big shelf shelving unit so I can put those guys on there. We've got all kinds of stuff coming for coming in the future. We thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you think about the action figures and what matches you want to see because we're going to bring them your way. We'll see you guys later. Peace.